Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a review on this Ringside Apex 100 pound heavy bag. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so before we do the review, let's go ahead and take a quick look at this close up. Starting from the top to bottom, what's included, you get the metal carabiner that attaches to these two D-rings at the very top. From there, they connect to um, this nylon and vinyl uh, buckle type system with the two rivets, the two metal rivets. You have the four nylon straps that drop down to the top quarter portion of the heavy bag and it's stitched in all the way around in the circumference. The top of the bag is zippered so you can open it up and the bag is filled up with shredded up like rags or clothing and even like I found some paper in here so I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, the top has I'd say maybe about three quarters of an inch of this really dense EVA foam padding which I think is just there to help keep the shape of the bag so it doesn't just collapse on itself. Um, the bag itself is made of almost like this PVC um, heavy duty nylon. Um, not as heavy duty and thick as tarpaulin, like the nozzle bag I have, but um, very similar to that. So a synthetic material. The bag itself is actually made in Pakistan. You have the tag right there. Um, then coming down to the bag itself, design wise, it's just offset colors with blue and white panels. Uh, a plastic ringside patch, I'm not really a big fan of that. Uh, the ringside belt logo on that blue side, and then the ringside apex. And then at the very bottom, um, you also have that hard EVA foam that, again, helps maintain the shape of the bag at the bottom with the metal D-ring uh, with the nylon strap for those of you guys that want to anchor it to the floor. So at least you have that option with this bag. So let's go ahead and do the review. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Ringside Apex 100 pound heavy bag. This retails for $229 through Ringside. It comes in four different colorways. I got mine in the blue and white. You can also get this, I believe in silver and black, uh, red and blue, as well as black and red. This particular model only comes in the weight of 100 pounds. Dimensions wise, it's 47 inches in height from top to bottom. That does not include the straps and 14 inches in diameter. You can see me standing next to it. I'm about five foot eight, 150 pounds to kind of give you guys a reference. Um, and you can see that the bag itself is pretty much a standard size. I mean, if you go to any boxing gym, this dimension and weight is probably the most common you'll see in a boxing gym. So it's really good for both people that are beginning off and you know, beginning in boxing or whatever combat sport you're, you're starting off in, or if you're just doing it for exercise. Um, or you're advanced in, uh, in training. This to me is, is kind of like the gold standard in terms of sizing when it comes to a heavy bag. Um, the bag itself is made of a um, tarpaulin um, synthetic type material. Uh, it is manufactured in Pakistan and it is filled uh, with shredded up rags, clothing, and obviously some paper like I showed you guys earlier in the close up. It does have four nylon strap that attaches to the top with two metal D-rings at the very top that has a carabiner. From there, it attaches to a ceiling or, or any kind of mount system that you guys have, completely up to you, what you have set up in your gym or your home. It does have a zippered opening up top, so if you're not a fan of the style of padding that you utilize in here, you can empty the bag out and fill it up with whatever you want to fill it up with. Um, you can see it is reinforced at the top with this ring. It has some triple stitching around the, the, the circumference of the bag. Um, it has this plastic ringside patch. I'm not a fan of that, uh, and ringside, definitely does that with a lot of their products where they put this plastic patch. I wish they would have just left it a, a printed logo like they did with this big belt logo rather than putting the plastic. Just because if you're hitting this with your gloves, I feel like that can damage the, the surface of the gloves, the leather, or whatever material the gloves are made of. And, and I mean, yes, it looks good, but honestly, I just don't feel like there's um, an actual purpose to this other than just advertising. Um, on this side of the bag, it says Ringside Apex. It's the same kind of design you see in their other Apex uh, products, like their gloves, um, their, their speed bag, their double end bag. Uh, a flat white panel right there. It has a little bit of scuffing right here. I think that was from shipping. 
um, but it's held up pretty well overall. Um, and then at the very bottom, like I showed you guys earlier, you also have a metal D-ring. So for those of you that want to mount it to the floor or you have some kind of like um, sandbag system to keep the bag from swaying around, completely up to you, uh, you can do so. Um, now, as perfor performance-wise with this bag, I'm gonna go ahead and put my glove on real quick. It has kind of a unique feel to this bag, um, unlike other bags I've tried in the past. And what I've noticed when I hit this bag is the first layer when you pu push into the bag, you can see it kind of gives, it looks like it's very soft, right? So your first impression of the bag is like, oh, it's a pretty soft filled bag. But what ends up happening is the harder you hit it, the inside core of the bag, the, the clothing or the rags, I didn't get all the way deep into the middle here. Maybe there's some kind of foam they put in there, but it almost gets really hard, like it hardens up. Um, so it's a little deceiving when you hit this bag because at first you're like, oh, okay, it's pretty soft. But the more you, the harder you hit it, it compresses down and it gets much harder. So uh, I would be mindful of that when you're hitting this bag that it is a pretty dense bag and it's gonna take a lot of breaking in. Uh, not so much on the exterior layer of uh, clothing or torn up rags they put in here, but whatever's on the inside, the more it compresses in, um, the harder it gets. Now I did a review on the title, the title Soft Strike as well as the ringside soft filled heavy bag and I didn't get that sensation. It felt, it felt more, I guess you can say it felt softer regardless of how hard I hit it. So I could hit it really softly or I can hit those real hard and that softness of the bag was consistent all the way through. So it almost felt like the bag itself kind of conformed to your, your punch or your fist. When you hit it even harder, it just kind of folded a little bit more. So you didn't get as much of the shock to your joints as you do with this. With this, you hit it, you feel it sink in, and then it gets to like a point where it really hardens up. So for those of you that uh, maybe have a hand injury, have tendonitis, some kind of joint or, or issues there where if you punch too hard, you get some discomfort. You'll definitely feel it with this bag. Um, and that was probably my biggest complaint outside of this plastic patch. Um, Weight-wise, it's perfect. It's really good. You know, it takes shots very well. You know, it has enough weight to it to where um, it just doesn't go swinging wildly. So it's not too it's not too light where if it's like 50 pounds and you hit it with any good shot, it just starts to swing. This has a good amount of swing, so you can still work on maybe using head movement or timing the bag coming in. Uh, but it's also heavy enough to where it stays in place for more of your power, power shots and stays a little bit more stationary. Um, so that's good as well. I never personally use a, a bag mount to the bottom. I like uh, the bag to move around a little bit. That way it forces me to actually move around the bag, not just sit in one spot. Um, but those are my two things I would say is that the bag definitely is stiffer on the inside and it's a little bit deceiving on the outside in terms of the softness when you, when you press against it. You know, like uh, probably most of you guys, when you guys get a new heavy bag or a punching bag, you know, obviously you're looking over it when you first take it out of the box and you kind of push against the padding to kind of get an impression of how the experience is going to be when you start hitting it. And that's the same thing with me. Like I, I first felt it and I was like, oh, this is a pretty soft feeling bag. Uh, just from my first impressions, but when I actually started using it and training with it, that's when I really started to feel that it would get really stiff on the inside. So just keep that in mind. Uh, at the price point of $229, honestly, I probably would, if I were to do it all over again, I would probably, if I had to choose between this and like their soft build bag, I would definitely go with their soft build bag because I feel like they're the same size dimensions wise. Um, I mean, unless you're really hung up on the way it looks, you'd like that ringside apex look. I feel like the, the, the soft field bag, in my opinion, felt better punching it compared to this one. Um, if you want a more stiffer bag and you want something that's a little bit harder when you hit it and you don't mind that it has that kind of weird feel of, of compressing and then get, basically hitting a hard spot, um, then this bag would be good for you. Consistency of the padding is good. So as far as like if you're hitting it up there, up higher to the middle, or to the bottom. The good news is I haven't had any issues with settling. So some bags you get it to where the material settles to the bottom and you get this really, really like concrete feeling hard spot. And I've had this bag for weeks now and I haven't had any issues with, if I were to go with maybe like a body shot, like a shovel hook down here, down low, um, it didn't feel like I was hitting like a concrete wall. So that's a good thing. Some bags you get that where you hit it kind of lower 
and you, it just feels like you're hitting a, a slab of concrete compared to hitting it right in the middle. And, and that's what you want in a heavy bag is a consistent feel throughout the bag. So no matter where you're at hitting it, I've had bags at gyms where there would be like a soft spot here and it would be hard here and it would be soft here and it would be hard up here. And, and it sucks because it's, it's not a very consistent experience when you're hitting it. And um, you just want the bag to feel the same no matter where you hit it. Um, that way when you're training, you can train consistently and you can avoid injury as well. So overall a solid bag, um, but I would definitely recommend going with the soft field compared to this one because essentially uh, very similar to each other sizing wise, weight wise. Um, I just feel like the material in the soft field to me uh, is better than this one in this Apex. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find this Ringside Apex 100 pound heavy bag. I'll see you guys later. Take care.